All right, so yesterday I put a little community tab thing and I was just trying to see people's responses or thoughts on the whole ticket situation. Thought I'd make a video of it because I'm uh, not feeling the greatest. So I, you know, I'm just going to try to get this video out and then probably take the next day off just so you're aware. Uh, we'll try to shoot if I can, but you know, who knows? Um, but yeah, so I've seen multiple sides on this and I think it's a good thing They're putting this in brave battles because I think there should be more incentive to play brave battles I know not everybody enjoys it, but I do think it's a game mode of the game We should get some rewards especially for, especially for the people who suffer through it You know, it's like grinding a really boring part of a video game, you know, like You, you get rewarded for what you're grinding for, you know, I, I, I think that's nice I would say Arena would be great if they added stuff in there, but it's almost unplayable. At least Brave Battles doesn't lag and, you know, kick you out after five seconds. So, I like it. I wish there were more, obviously, um, in terms of, like, other materials. Obviously, though, the pricing is where we start to fall off on this, to be honest. Like, I think the first one is fine. The tutorial one, I honestly... Whatever. I, I don't even want to talk about the one. I don't really care enough. Uh, the first one I think is fine. You could definitely lower it, and I wouldn't. I'd be like, okay, fair enough, because I think it takes. Uh, you get like one thousand a week, so two to three months approximately. You complete all the orders and whatnot to get this. It's a choose a character as well. Not bad. Obviously, you're missing out on orbs, but you're guaranteeing yourself a character. So. And, I mean, it's a new character, so if you pick a newer character, it's 50, 75. So that's like one month of orbs right there from the PvP shop or Bray Battle shop. So you're missing out maybe one or two months of orbs, so like a multi or two. But you guarantee a character. I've went 25 multis before, or 20 multis before, and haven't got a single guaranteed character besides the guaranteed 5-star. Like, I, I didn't get a 5-star besides the guaranteed 5-star, so I, I'm fine with this one, to be honest. But this one is like... You know, it's a bit absurd, but then people came up with the th uh, idea of, well, we only thought there was only be one, so for the people who absolutely grinded Bray Battles and just have that many coins left over, I think they kind of deserve it, to be honest. Like, yeah, I, I guess, because we only did think we were only going to get one. Um, I really wish it didn't go away, but it's like, I guess, you know, uh, it, it's just meant for the absolute tryhards. I don't think it's even worth saving up 90,000 coins even if you can because that's like I think it's like 20 multis worth and at that point It's like you're basically at pity you can literally pity yourself a new character and potentially other characters as well So it's like eh, that one's a bit you know that one's a bit too much. So that's just my comment on it This one is fine. I like it this one who cares? Nobody's complaining about it. And then this one is just absurd, but it's meant for the tryhards who actually put in the Bray Battles and probably spent money uh, to get their whole Bray Battle team uh, maxed out. So I think it's fine. So let's go to the comments, see what people are saying. I assume it's going to be a bunch of angry rants. That's usually 90% of these because, you know, <laughs> they, people hate Caleb. <laughs> uh, Realistically, you can get 9k in two months if you're in 4c and above and you play consistently, but who in the entirety of BBS can get 90k medals in just one year? Uh, well, I think it's... I don't think anybody below Head Captain can, but I'm pretty sure Head Captain definitely can get 90k uh, if you're doing it every day. But obviously, you know, it's just you lose it on so many orbs. Is it really worth it? Kind of up to you. But uh, the 9,000 one I think is uh, fine. Um, the real Malik, the 9,000 medal I personally think is fine. I think it's reasonable. Fair, I agree too. Like, if they lowered it, I wouldn't complain. Obviously, I think I'd be like, okay, cool. I can get it in like another week or two. Um, but I think 9,000 for a guaranteed character is uh, fair. Um, I think it's reasonable. The 90,000, on the other hand, Caleb wants us to go in the PvP mines. Uh, no, I think it's just literally meant for like the top like 100 players, I think, is in head captain, if I'm not mistaken. It could just be 10. I don't even know how many there are. But uh, it's definitely meant for like the absolute pinnacle of the people in Bray Battles, the people who spend orbs or just have a very in, con, a very consistent team and just have a, a lot of stamina to spend. That's mainly what it's there for, I would imagine. It is kind of a slap in the face, so I won't lie that we can't get it because, you know, we're uh, pitiful little uh, third seat uh, Bray Battle players. Should have been a free ticket. I don't think either of these should have been a free ticket, to be honest. Like, I can see why you would want it to be it's a quote-unquote celebration but it's a guaranteed character one of the and you can get some of the newest characters in the entire game i don't think it ever would have been free in any other sort of gotcha game known to man 
maybe I'm wrong though. You know, I don't play every gacha game. I play like two. So, you know, um, maybe the tutorial ticket, you know, for the newer players, give them a freebie. Uh, and this one is crazy. I think I'm going to quit the game because you have to play Bray Battles to get a ticket. That's just, you obviously just weren't enjoying the game beforehand. So, I mean, you should have quit earlier, to be honest. Like that, that, that is crazy. And the fact that six people like that is crazy. Or, er. um, why it says, honestly, that's ticket I have characters like white, Quincy, Ichigo, Mado, or him in the 9k is reasonable, but 90k, that's too much. I agree. Also, I'm not going to look at the replies. I assume it's going to be the same thing or potentially bots. I'm not even going to look at it. Caleb couldn't even use a questionnaire to find what amount of medals for a Brave Battle ticket is acceptable. Have they ever done a questionnaire for a small little thing like this? Like, I, I know it's not like a small thing, but I mean, that, that, that's like asking, hey guys, uh, we have a questionnaire. What would you like for every single filler banner or the filler pool in every single banner? Would it be nice? Yes, but I don't think they've ever done that outside of a basic like, poll selection. And when we vote for, see, they're epic or point event characters in uh, the Discord. That's basically about it. Uh, I don't think they did they remove the 2k ticket no they didn't they did not right yeah I, I, I don't know what they're talking about it's literally still there so no idea um, this is easy to fix either lower the cost of the tickets or make Bray battle like arena where you win medals for each win or loss for example if you could get 20 medals for a loss and 50 medals for each day each win I would play battles each day as much as I can I okay this is a good idea I don't know about the exact numbers or whatnot, but I think you should get way more rewards or coins from Brave Battles. Uh, I think you should get more rewards. So every win you get a big bonus. You know, maybe you uh, maybe you get a win streak of like ten, and then you get a huge bonus. You know, I think that'll be really cool. Just some sort of incentive to go on win streaks besides just getting to the next uh, ranking. Um, just something, you know, I, I think Brave Battles definitely needs a little bit of a boost, if you will. Because we've had some of the shops revamped. Uh, we've had Guild Quest revamped. Nobody's touching Arena, so who cares? I would love a revamp to at least the shop in Arena, I don't, or Brave Battles. I don't think the actual game mode can be changed, unfortunately. But I would love a shop overhaul or coin overhaul or something to where we get more coins so we can buy out the shop faster. Besides just pushing to head captain, you know? That would be nice, especially since there's only so many players that can be in head captains, which I really don't like. Not a biggest fan of that. Um, then we have Chris here. I'm fine with the, I already got the 9k metal ticket. I'm not sure if I have enough time for the 90k ticket though. Depending on where you are, I think if you're in the league below head captains, you possibly can. Um, since you already got the 9k, but I know you can't get both unless you're in head captain. So yeah, and you also have to like stay in head captain the entire year, which is insane. Uh, the drawbacks are we're going to be missing on orbs and Brave Battle and Metal Exchange. That is true. Like, that's another thing. You're going to be missing on so many orbs in 90k. It's just like, is it worth it? Kind of up to you. I feel as though most people are going to say no. Unless, like, I've already seen some people have like 150,000 Brave Medals. And I'm like, you're crazy. That's crazy. Congrats, though. That's a lot of Brave Battles. Uh, and then we have this one. Uh, Evan, I'm fine with 9k. 90k is just not a possibility. I get the characters in there are crazy, but most of them come back as good filler or in just tickets in general. I get it's luck based, but 90k is even, isn't even realistic in a year. If these tickets never went away, I'd have less of an issue with it even. It needs to be lowered. Yeah, I think because it's more of a extra ticket for the extra tryhards, that's why they added it in. Um, but then I, I do like the 9k one. I, I will say I do like the 9k one, but the 90k is just like, I just... It's a bit much. It's a bit much. You know, I, I wish it was like 50k and I probably would have tried to go for it. But there's no way I can get 90k. If it was 50k, I unironically probably would have saved up for it. But yeah, 90k is just no way. Uh, then we have this. This is some shit. Sure have a track on a little backtrack. Oh, backtrack. I, I, I skipped the word back. We'll backtrack on, a, or on or double down. How would they even double down and add another 90k ticket? <laughs> that would be crazy. Um. Uh, Yet again, another lower the price. Fair enough. 9K is a tad high. Person making 7K would be a little bit more reasonable. The other ticket is whatever. I think this is the first person that said that the 9K is a bit high. I guess somebody said it should be free. But I think 9K is fine. Like 7K, sure. But I will say this. Uh, since it's this far into the video, th this is my prediction for anniversary. I think it's Yuha. 
because if you look at the numbers, hopefully it's still on the right screen. Eh, it's close enough. Uh, nine, nine, nine. Just take one zero away, and it's like 90 days, whatever, whatever. Uh, 900 years or something, 9,000. I forgot the entire quote, but you know what I mean, the Yuha thing, the Yuha quote. So I'm predicting beyond almighty Yuha for anniversary. Boom. Imagine. I put that underneath Aaron Nero's video, and he pinned it, just saying, W. We got scammed again. Those 35 were actually were a waste, and they gained a lot from it. We lost brain cells. It's a 9,000 Bright Battle Metal ticket. I don't think it's that hard to get, to be honest. Like, unless you're in, like, 10th seat, which just means you're just not playing the game, so why should you be rewarded if you don't play the game? You know? Like, I don't know. I think 9K is fine. But, yeah, 90K, obviously not worth it. The ball breaking Beggins. What does this mean, Charles? Uh, 90 ticket takes 13 months if you do everything right and spend not a single medal the entire year. Good thing we have an entire year since it takes 13 months. Uh, it's people have done the math. It takes uh, like I think it's like 10 or 11 months if you're in head captain. You know, you do all the orders and whatnot. So you can do it. You just have to be in head captain and then the low and then the one below it. But then you wouldn't get the 9k one. So yeah. Yet again, 4,000. It's a choose a character. Cause they, they, do you know what they value 2,000 coins is in this game? Do you know what they value 2,000 coins in this game? So if you go to ticks right here, 2,000 is some shitter, nobody knows what it is ticket. I think 9,000 is fairly reasonable for a choose a guaranteed character and it can actually like increase the value of your account. This, this ticket could get you... Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's let's quickly th scroll through the vault. Uh, let's see who oh, we're getting. Gerico. We're getting Gerico. Uh, we're getting. Uh, <laughs> we're, no, can't get Candice. We're getting. Uh, trying to find a premium character. Uh, we're getting this Shunsui. We're you're, you're getting <laughs> this Jushiro. Woo! Was that worth a two thousand coins? No. I, I I personally personally think that the nine thousand is fine. Um, Thought it's gonna cost around like four or five k since the five star ticket costs two k. But this is a choose a character, a, a a singular. You pick it and you get it. Like, I don't see the problem in this. I don't see the problem in nine k. Moving on. Uh, we all need to rally together to harass. You don't need to harass. Why do you have to harass them? Just like, hey guys, I think maybe the ticket should be lowered a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But all like the hate. Like if you randomly run at someone and say hey you scam me you did this you did this you start yelling at them i don't think they're gonna listen to you they're probably gonna just think you're a crazy person and walk away that's what i would do you just say hey this is wrong i need it fixed you know what i'm saying set up impossible for most players to get these tickets it is not impossible for anyone to get 9,000 tickets it's literally not unless you stay in 10 seat then I, I don't know what to tell you. That just means you don't play the game, and I don't think you deserve a ticket with a guaranteed character if you don't even play the game. My two cents. My two cents. It's Caleb. What did you expect from them? But the 9K one is good. 90K, they just wanted to piss off. I think they were trying to reward their top base players. Or, who knows, maybe they were trying to piss off that player base, but I think they were genuinely trying to uh, give it to the players who play Brave Battles a lot because it's a very niche game mode i don't think everybody plays it mainly so i think that's uh the most the main thing yet again brave battles don't get exciting rewards i wish they would i genuinely wish they would increase it like the 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 lackluster rewards overall is like so lame like i like that these tickets are in the in the shop but it's like can we get something else as well and maybe if they increase it to like like how, how we said earlier where if you got wins you got more uh medals then they'll be really good because then you could actually go out, get orbs, get the tickets. You could get the five-star ticket and not have to be in head captains to get everything, you know? It would just be nice. Uh, Caleb truly are sh uh, surely are trolling us. We thought they redeemed themselves from that trash war campaign. Yeah, that 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 five-star ticket or six-star ticket was horrendous. They want us to spend more time grinding this game for medals, but who would want to play a game with developers who treat their community so bad? To be fair, every single gacha game wants you to be on the game a lot. That's how they make money. You know, more retention. That's like, that, that's the name of the game in every single game. Fortnite, they want you to come and do their battle pass. Destiny 2, they want you to just kill yourself in Crucible and grind your battle pass. Those are the only two games that I can think of off the, off the top of my head. 
So, yeah, that's just uh, my two cents on that whole thing of uh, grinding the game. This gotchas are meant to be grinded. Like, that's the entire thing. You grind, you max out your box, and then... It's crazy when people complain about grinding in a gotcha game. What more is there to do besides grind and leveling up characters? <laughs> There's nothing else. It's 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 crazy. Um, not 90k, no way. 19,000 watt doesn't matter if we get these tickets. It's that's the type of thing that I hate in games far too much for really no reason. Well, to make you grind the game, I do think the 90k is a lot. 9k, I think, is completely fine. My medals are for maxing out the old fossil units. I am not entertaining that 90k. I don't think 99% of players are going to entertain that 90k, to be fair. Uh, just a bunch of negative. I like the 9k, hate 90k. I will not save up for these tickets by not buying the regular 5-star ticket at Orbs. Why would you even buy the regular 5-star ticket, though? Like, I'm genuinely curious. What value does that ticket hold besides you getting a character and then you immediately sell it for 20,000 transcendence points? Like, I don't... I can't remember the last time I got a good character off that ticket. It's horrible. It's a garbage ticket, to be honest. The orbs, yes, yes, obviously. You, you can go for orbs, but... Anyways, that's my thoughts. That's my opinions. Let me know down below. Yours down below. Take care. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, little rant. Like my little rant videos. They're becoming more and more. <laughs> Sorry about that. But either way, take care. Peace out. Have an amazing day.